When you're a teenager, you usually kind of shy away from country. But I think as you get older, you, you start to really appreciate country and, and folk and real folk and real people. I think they instilled, I don't want to say spirituality, but the love of God. There's no fear of work, um, the importance of family. Those are, you know, basic things that, um, that you learn just by being around them, just by being around them. Nothing that you learn in a book. My grandma came from Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My grandma was a hard-working woman. The African people, they smart. They always did tell me that. Were well, you African? Yeah, I got been Africa in me. My grandma had Africa. My great-grandma was Africa. That's right. She came here. To, the slavery people brought her here. Sure, we got plenty. We got, I got plenty of that in me. Mm -hmm. And I'm not ashamed of it. My grandma's grandma. Edmonia Green. Mm -hmm. Ed, huh? Edmonia Green. Well, you remember that, Ed? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Lord, yes, that was the name, Edmonia Green. My grandmother would, would, would just rattle things off her tongue, you know, this, no fun, no pastime, no, the, the name. I didn't been through the snakes to come out clean. And I'm just like writing stuff down because it's so, it's so, it's, it's just something that I appreciate and treasure, the, some of the things that she used to say and do. And passing on the family history, the family legacy is very, is, has been um, something that, to me, fulfills you. And my grandmother, they would get to working for the white people, the slave, they were slaves. They'd go in the woods mm -hmm. and pray and have church and sing. And the white priests, the young, they'd look and see the white people coming out there, stop them high. Mm -hmm. They keep them, they didn't want them to have no church. Mm -hmm. they, had, they had time to let them go to church. See that and tend to them children and clean up the house. They never get to clean up the house. They, they, them white people's hard to suit. They didn't have no use for black people. And not a day they can't do without them. That's right, we got to wash them. Sometimes, I don't work in people where I have to bathe them like a baby. They were sick. I had to do it for my living. I think about all that when I was doing that. Said to myself, I ought to beat your tail here like I wanted. But I didn't. God will punish me. You can't throw stone for stone. If a person do you something bad, you do them something good if you can. Because God gonna bless you and punish them. When I would visit as an old, as a teenager, and and when I was in college, I would just follow her around the kitchen and um, and watch her do her thing and try to pick up as much as I could. Mama Frank taught me how to make gumbo. Papa Frank, no one could make red beans like Papa Frank. I don't know how he did it. He would help me with my math. He would get grains of corn and add them up, you know, like two and two. You put two here and two there, and you count them how many you've got, you know. And that's how I learned math and multiplications by grains of corn that my father showed me how to do without an education. He was hardworking. He was consistent. Um, that's something you don't find in a lot of young people now is consistency. And um, he supported his family through everything with that job. Is that your wedding ring? Is that your wedding ring? Don't stay. Tell death do you part. Yeah. When we've been together, I've been together so long. I forgot I was married. I thought I was just passing by. They met at a dance, and Mom said that Dad thought he was cute, you know. And I did dance, and he would carry me to the dance. That's right, I did. I'd rather dance than these. That's right, and I could do that too. Oh, no. I bet you were. I didn't have no bone in my body. That's right, lemme the snake. 
and I'd, them little niggas would catch me, babe, I'd swing their tongue out. I used to dance. I used to good dance. I didn't put the box. Daddy can tell you that. That's right. Daddy came in there. He let them niggas wrestle with me long as he want. Long as he want. He said, didn't tell you. He said, let's go. But daddy never would dance. Why? Uh-uh. He never would dance. Why? He, he, his leg was too long. My friend, you can't dance? Uh-uh. Daddy never danced in his life. Hey, why you get dance? You couldn't walk, dance when you were young? I never did dance. Why? Come <laughs> here. Why you didn't do dance? Because I didn't want. Mm. Okay. He didn't want to dance. He never, never did. How did you get, I mean, how did you get hold of my, my friend? Yeah, sure. You I... ain't lying. You right. I think See about what? that sometimes. Now. How in the heck I let daddy uh, mess around, didn't dance with me, and the other boys would dance. Come here. And then, uh, yeah. How did you get hold of her? Huh? How did you get hold of her? You ain't I lying. I met her. You didn't dance with her? Uh -uh. Sweet dog. Sweet talk? Yeah, sweet talk. Right. Oh, <laughs> sweet talk. He lied. Give he it to lied. me, Daddy. He lied, Daddy. <laughs> daddy lied. Daddy never told me no sweet talk to me. I just looked at him and looked pitiful. I said, he want a wife. He want a girl. That's all? <laughs> That's all? Just a wife? Oh. He pitiful. I said, yeah. He looked pitiful. I said, he ain't got no daddy. He just got a mama. I better try to marry him if he does. <laughs> and try to make a man out of him. <laughs> Marry you, you better go ahead and marry. Cause she's wild is love. Whenever two hearts meet. Oh uh, no, love and when a nigga kick you around or you kick him around, dug him around, then you beg your partner and he ask you to marry. Then you go act fool and marry. You see, that's, that's love. Is. That's love. Really? You, you married him that night. You had to marry. Him. Well, no, we had been courting five years. Uh huh. Me and Daddy courted five years. Five years. years, he's right Called there. Five years? Yeah, five mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know yet, I had to know if he wanted me. I mean, and then sometimes I don't believe he wanted me no more. Five years? Five years. Oh. Yeah, five years. Come out of the house That's right, he caught me. He, he kept the other niggas away from what me. What was Courtney? I used to be fine, though, Ed. What was Courtney? What, what do you do? Oh, come college? see me, take me out. Came to church, came to picture show, came me to, to dance. What else? And that's all. What else? That's all. That's all? Yes, that's, that's it? it? Yeah, that's what the not. Oh, I heard a different story. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. ain't waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> Having seen how they lived and heard about how they lived and all the things that they sacrificed and uh, endured to achieve uh, and pass on, uh, to us, uh, those things that we need to achieve uh, in this day. Their legacy, their memories, their love is is so much a part of who we are. They have come through the snake skin or have come through a life in terms of being respected, being loved, having family, having values, having tradition, having come through that snake skin clean, whole, not compromised uh, is a blessing. I call her name every day. I named my daughter Savannah. I've passed the name on. And the legacy continues on in this life. Savannah! 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 Tell me I didn't bend through the snakeskin and come out clean. Well, that's just a joke. You know, just, you been through trouble and you come out safe. You know? So the things that elders impart to, uh, to you about family are very key. And I think that that's something that this generation seems to forfeit or seems to, to let go. They don't, they don't seem to, to value elders. There are so many old people that are at home by themselves looking at TV, no interaction with kids trying to learn who they are and where they came from. And that's something that, 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 that needs, to, needs to change. Elders need to be propped up and given their just rewards and appreciation from family members in particular.